Saint of the Day, February 27. Today we celebrate the feast of Gabriel of Our Lady of Soros. Born in Italy into a large family and baptized Francis, Saint Gabriel lost his mother when he was only four years old. He was educated by the Jesuits and having been cured twice of serious illnesses, came to believe that God was calling him to the religious life. Young Francis wished to join the Jesuits but was turned down, probably because of his age, not yet 17. Following the death of a sister to cholera, his resolve to enter religious life became even stronger and he was accepted by the Passionists. Upon entering the novitiate, he was given the name Gabriel of Our Lady of Soros. Ever popular and cheerful, Gabriel quickly was successful in his effort to be faithful in little things. His spirit of prayer, love for the poor, consideration of the feelings of others, exact observance of the Passionist rule, as well as his bodily penances, always subject to the will of his wise superiors, made a deep impression on everyone. His superiors had great expectations of Gabriel as he prepared for the priesthood. But after only four years of religious life, symptoms of tuberculosis appeared. Ever obedient, he patiently bore the painful effects of the disease and the restrictions it required. Seeking no special notice, he died peacefully on February 27, 1862, at age 24, having been an example to both young and old. Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Soros was canonized in 1920. Reflection When we think of achieving great holiness by doing little things with love and grace, Saint Teresa of Lisieux comes first to mind. Like her, Gabriel died painfully from tuberculosis. Together, they urge us to tend to the small details of daily life, to be considerate of others' feelings every day. Our path to sanctity, like theirs, probably lies not in heroic doings but in performing small acts of kindness every day. Amen. Saint Gabriel of Our Lady of Soros, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To all the listeners, have a blessed and meaningful Lenten season. May the blessing and grace of Jesus Christ be upon you and your family members. Amen.